Have you ever gotten a headache, didn't know where it came from, and just turned to food to help you cope? You're just frustrated with life. Have you ever felt as if you had no way out, so you're drained, low on energy, and you've turned to food, or you just felt completely frustrated and stuck and not knowing how to get out of situations? Then this video is for you. We're talking all about constipation today and extracting some shit. In the words of Dr. Morris, this planet needs an enema, and this video is the enema that you need to extract shit out of your body, mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. I'm Abishai L, holistic health coach, raw food educate, certified raw food educator, helping the open-minded and empathic entrepreneurial and professional women Get rid of their stress, drop those pounds, and create the life they deserve through nutrition and lifestyle changes without sacrificing their food favorites and authenticity. As you all know, by me doing videos, they're doing construction, and they're super, super loud. So if you hear it, I can't do anything about it. I just got back from walking, <laughs> and it is hotter than a bitch swallowing a fireball out there, okay? <laughs> Anyways... Drop a comment if at any time, let me know if you're who's on this video, where you're from and all of that. So anyway, I wanted to do this video because there's a lot of people who are constipated in life. And let me know if you can hear me because I can't really hear myself at the moment because it's super, super loud. Okay. There's so many people who are stuck in life. Some people don't even know they're stuck. And I want to help you get unstuck. Okay, so constipation shows up in various ways, you know, whether that's in our bodies, whether that's in our thoughts, wherever, wherever, wherever that is. So the first thing I want to target is when you have these constipated thoughts, I call them, and I used to have them a lot. You know, I would literally get a headache and I would say, where is this headache coming from? Where is this low energy coming from? And a lot of it was coming from something that I, a problem that I wasn't solving, a decision that I wasn't making, something that I was avoiding in life. So what I actually did is I sat down, I started reflecting and I started to get at the root of that and say, what do I need to resolve to get me to the next level in my life? You know, whether that was having a critical conversation with someone, whether that was saying no to something that I didn't think I could say no to at the time. So that's that's the what I call the mental shit, the mental constipation, you know, that I really had to push out like a smooth bowel movement and just get rid of it. So. A lot of times that's what happened with people and many people, because they have this mental constipation, they end up turning to various foods, you know, to help them because they don't know what's going on. You know, you just know you feel drained. You just know you feel unhappy and drop a comment below. If you can relate to this, you just know that you don't feel empowered. And that's what I want you to leave with today. After watching this video is a feeling of, empowerment okay so to leave with a feeling of empowerment so if whenever i think of constipation and um people being constipated as bitches as many of us are in this world and it's fine because at least you know you are and you can get rid of it that was just a fun play on words but i think of my 600 pound life there's so many people who are literally walking constipation. And I don't mean that in a funny sense. There are people due to their um, emotional traumas that they never worked through, due to their um, lack of boundaries. This is why I teach this with my six-step method. Due to their lack of self-love, you know, everything, they don't have those six components in place. So therefore they opt for being addicted to, you know, foods and going for the surgery, they're overweight, you know, they have a lot of stuck thoughts, they're walking constipation. So the physical, that's the physical constipation, like you're literally constipated. What happens when you're overweight is you are literally constipated. You know, you're supposed to have a bowel movement after every meal. 
when you're overweight, you're not digesting properly. It's just sitting on you. So you literally have shit on you from like, let's say you just keep eating the same thing. That's just going to stay on you from like a year ago, especially if you have beef and things like that. I just cow to me. But if you just have beef or, you know, various foods, if you continuously eat the same thing and continuously gain weight, nothing's being digested. So you're literally full of shit, you know, and this is why eating foods that actually get rid of that is beneficial foods that that's why I say smoothies because the cellular membranes are broken down the cellular walls are broken down so it's easier for you to digest it your body recognizes it and can extract you know this is why people extract things so that's the I talked about the mental I talked about the physical constipation the spiritual constipation comes in when you feel anxiety, when you feel ungrounded, when you feel unrested. Spiritual constipation is the shit you need to extract immediately. Seriously, like that's your foundation, because let's think about it. You know, if you don't have a peaceful routine or you don't have a... um a solid foundation that messes with your mental and emotional wellness. You don't have a, a, a foundation or a backing, you know, imagine, imagine if the, the ground caved in, you're just going to fall through. Right. So developing a spiritual routine, no matter what that looks like to you, it can be you doing so much as exercising and I don't know, chanting. Um, it could be you listening to music. It could be you drawing and meditating whatever that looks like to you, whatever brings you to a peaceful state to where you can connect to the creator, the angels, the universe, that's everything that I connect with, um, will cause you not to feel so stuck, so stuck in life. And then writing down to where you want to go, where you want to go in life to get you unstuck. So you don't have that constipation. And then the emotional constipation is you going back and you realizing what caused me to get to where I am now. What caused me not to set those boundaries? What caused me to um, not feel so empowered? When was that particular moment in my life that caused me to feel like that? So if you follow those, you can begin to feel lighter like today, what I want you to do is actually comment lighter if you feel lighter after watching this video, by the way. But today, what I want you to do is really take a step back and say, what do I need to resolve in my life? What is what is it going to take me to resolve this? Um, what do I need to keep in my life? What do I need to get rid of? What makes me feel exuberant? What drains the fuck out of my energy? Um, and then the nutrition part, what foods make me feel ignited and what foods make me feel full and inflamed? Cause a lot of people do not know that when you're heavily overweight, it could be as much as 15 pounds, by the way, you're constipated. If you're not extracting a bowel movement after every meal, you are constipated in some way. However, when you're heavily overweight, you are extremely constipated and inflamed. So it's time to go down. But what led you there is, you know, what happened to you, the thought process, you not setting your boundaries, you lacking self-love because of certain situations, you saying yes to shit you hate when you should be saying no, you know, you exerting yourself too much, you know? So it's having that, you know, developing that confidence to say no. And there's different ways. You don't have to be, you know, aggressive with it. Like if you don't want to do something, you don't have to say, well, fuck this. I don't want to do it. You can just say, you know what? This is not in line with my truths and I don't feel like doing it. And I'm not going to do it because it's out of my alignment. It's off of my path. I've said no to many things. I've also said yes to many things. You know, it has to be fall in line with who you are. But first you have to find who you are first, just like with everything that's going on. You know, I'm not going to wear a face mask. Some people don't think they have a choice. Therefore, they wear it. I'm the type of person if you, for instance, if you tell me, um, like, what was it? Before, when I wasn't able to, I don't know, pay something, 
um, a while back and someone said some, you know, someone said, oh, this is due then or whatever. And I, you know, I could have said, okay, well, I guess they're just going to have to close my account out. Or I could say, hey, I'm the type of person that'll say, hey, could I have an extension on this because such and such and such and such. However, some people, because of what they've been taught when they were young, they've been taught you don't have authority to ask questions. When when you see no, that means no. Now, I'm not saying, you know, let's put it in context, because if someone says no and you're like, you know, a, a pervert or something like that, that means no. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about instances where you may always think the answer is no about, say, paying something or, um, I don't know, if someone was just just replied to you, maybe you reached out to them and say, hey, I want to do this. And, you know, their response was just no. And maybe some people just take it instead of asking why or saying, well, Ken, is there another option? You know, things like that. That's what I'm saying. The other thing I'm not talking about. No means no in that. But so just opening your mind up, allowing yourself to feel empowered. You're supposed to feel empowered on this earth, you know, and feel lighter but you have to take action. You have to take action and refuse to be a constipated ass bitch. I used to be that, you know, in, in different instances, you know, when I was overweight or when I was avoiding certain things, it will show, it'll, it will eventually show up in your body. It will, your thoughts. That's why I say you always have three minds. You have your gut, your brain, and your heart, and they hold memories. And it's time to release that by journaling, like I said, by setting those boundaries, by really activating those past memories, even though they might be a little difficult. If you need my help, let me know um, and comment lighter if this is helping you. Activating those past memories and saying, when did I feel disempowered so I could feel empowered now? What is it going to take me? Because let me tell you, you can only eat so many Klondike bars and ice cream sandwiches you know, until you're like, this is not helping me. I really need to target the problem and get rid of it. And while I'm targeting the problem, I'm going to find a healthier version <laughs> of these ice cream sandwiches that it will actually help my mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual health because it has all the vitamins and minerals that the body needs. Okay. So I'm going to hop off this video. I hope you take these tips and implement them today. Uh, comment lighter if you feel lighter below and if you had a breakthrough. And I will see you in the next video tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.